Okay, let's take a uh, quick look at textures and give you a brief overview that should cover everything that you need to know when coming across textures. So first off, let's start off with a part like this that incorporates a lot of different textures and a range of capabilities. And this is a real wow model. So what's going on back here? So we've got first off a clear texture that simulates a display screen. So this is an element that incorporates uh, a graphic image and a uh, element of clear to simulate the screen. Then below that we have this texture with bump displacement and that is simulating leather. And then we have this again another image texture that is simulating a wood grain effect. So how do uh, how is a texture applied? What is a texture? Texture is a 2D image. It could be a PNG, a JPEG, really any uh, 2D image format that is applied onto a 3D geometry. So here on the right hand side I've got a sphere and on the left hand side I've got a picture of the world. And the two images applied together are going to create a 3D globe. So how is it applied? I start off with my 3D geometry, my uh, model mesh, and I use a process called UV mapping. This is going to unwrap this mesh and uh, lay it out onto a 2D plane. Then that 2D plane I can bring in my uh, 2D image, the uh, uh, image of the world itself, and I will reference all my triangle points to uh, a location, a set of pixels on my uh, 2D image. And that the uh, computer or the graphics program will then use those set of uh, uh, referenced coordinate points to wrap the 2D image around the globe, giving us the uh, uh, complete world globe that we can see on the right hand side. So now if we're going to start off with taking a look at how all these textures can be applied, we'll start off with the wood effect texture, which is the simplest one to do. So I have my 3D geometry. I have a series of wood textures here that I can use. And the beauty of this method is it's very quick and easy to swap out uh, various texture images without necessarily having to go back and do a lot of the work involved in applying these textures. So start off here uh, with the area uh, in the middle top section, the area that I want to uh, apply my texture to. Now this is uh, the unwrapped uh, form of this 3D geometry so and we're going to have that laid out with the wood texture image overlaid on top of that and those two so, so to speak, images and planes aligned is going to give me the wood texture that I can see on the right hand side. Now if we move on to the uh, display screen, it's a very similar process. So here we're talking about the uh, top element uh, of this part and in the middle section we can see the various uh, parts uh, of this uh, shell. So I have the top half where I've got the button and the lower part of the screen. There I want a, to have a clear texture applied. So that is represented by this cross hatched on the uh, uh, middle uh, right hand side. And then below that I have this flat portion where I'm having the uh, simulated screen that contains the uh, sport uh, uh, button or icon highlighted. And so those two sections, the uh, lower part and the upper part of the model combined together is going to give me this uh, screen mimicry. And uh, again, a whole range of samples can be created, highlighting the different modes or different options that uh, the users can try out. Then we're going to move on to the uh, most complicated to achieve, and that is the uh, texture with bump displacement. And that is what we're going to do to simulate leather, and that could be used to simulate a whole range of different effects. So 
if we're just going to clarify some terminology now, the bump map or the bump effect is a simulation for computer rendering. So if you look on the edge of the uh, left hand sphere you can see that it's still a circle, it's still a, a sphere geometry. Whereas on the right hand I've converted this information that is typically used just for computer rendering to an actual uh, change in geometry. I've altered my underlying geometry, I've added triangles to my uh, relatively simple sphere in order to create this actual 3D effect rather than simulate a 3D effect. So before the displacement, uh, again smooth uh, edge of the sphere and afterwards an actual change in the uh, geometry. So, what is a bump map height map? How is this applied? Bump map is really just another texture image, but the image instead of, in, uh, say, like previously where we had a wood or a clear texture applied, this contains just two colors, black and white. Uh, white is indicating a higher point or area, and black is indicating a lower point. So, on the left hand side at the top, I've got this uh, flat uh, plane. If I apply the image, uh, as a bump or height map in the middle and convert that into a displacement, I'm actually going to be changing the geometry so I have this extruded uh, block in the middle of my part. And we can make this more complicated and uh, create smoother transitions by using uh, gradiated grayscale colors. So if we uh, go off and uh, now put this all together, I've got the area that I want to have the leather texture apply to as a, uh, a mesh that has been laid out onto my 2D plane. To that on the uh, uh, middle left hand section I'm going to be applying my height map, my bump map of the cracked leather texture. To its right I'm doing the same process. However, now I'm applying the actual leather texture itself, this dark uh, brown uh, blackish leather effect. And then all of that together is going to give me the uh, leather section that we can see on the right hand portion of this gear shift model. Now we can use the same process for various seams and stitches or even uh, zipper type elements to uh, an image that is going to uh, affect my 3D geometry through the process. And this is also uh, all easily achievable in Photoshop. So thank you very much for uh, your time today and we'll look at how to achieve this in Photoshop uh, in a later tutorial.